Hello everyone, Matthew here. I want to welcome you to my channel, Heroic Press, dedicated to covering the latest in superhero movie news and comic book investment tips. For this video, I am going to briefly recap the trouble behind the theatrical release of Justice League, and then cover what we know about the upcoming Snyder Cut, including interesting decisions on the table about how it will be shown due to its runtime. Zack Snyder stepped down during the post-production of Justice League to grieve his family following the loss of his daughter. Warner Brothers hired the Avengers director Joss Whedon to take the helm. The studio did not like what they had seen from Snyder's work on the film thus far, so they charged Whedon with overhauling much of the movie. This involved script rewrites including 80 new pages of script, scene reshoots, more humor, and an overall brighter tone. Despite these massive changes, the release date remained the same, so the filmmakers had no additional time to fine-tune the movie, but had to keep to the same schedule. Some of the reasons behind why Warner Brothers decided to not push back the release date were so that executives could still get their annual bonuses, and also, because there was an upcoming merger between AT&T and Time Warner, they were concerned about the possibility AT&T might decide to scrap the movie altogether if it was not completed before then. Only about one-fourth of Snyder's contribution was kept, and the runtime was cut down from over three and a half hours to just two hours. When presented to test audiences, the theatrical version scored about as well as Wonder Woman did, so Warner Brothers decided to release it. Justice League was generally received poorly among critics and meh among audiences and had a disappointing performance at the box office. Almost immediately around the time of its release, a social media campaign was started to show the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Many of the cast and film crew supported it, and a petition for this cause ultimately gained 180,000 signatures pressuring the powers that be into the decision to let Snyder complete the film the way he wants and release it through the streaming service HBO Max. Justice League cost $300 million to make and market and only made a little over $700 million total, which includes box office and subsequent DVD sales. Now, for the Snyder Cut, HBO will shell out an additional large sum of money, in excess of $30 million, for Zack Snyder to finish the film the way he wants, with no studio interference. The funding will go to post-production, special effects, a new film score, and additional ADR from the actors, but it will not contain any new scenes with the actors. It will, however, contain many characters that were cut out of the original version, including Darkseid, Martian Manhunter, The Atom, and Green Lantern and or the Green Lantern Corps. The runtime of the film will be greater than three and a half hours, and for this reason, the idea of airing the film as a miniseries instead of a movie is being considered. The Snyder Cut of Justice League will be released exclusively on HBO Max sometime in 2021, hopefully early to mid-2021. There will be more news to come during the upcoming DC fandom, which I will cover when it comes out, so please subscribe and hit the bell so you will be notified with new videos. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.